Oh, here we go. Big damn here. I fucking I deserve that. What's up, guys? This is an exciting one. So today I'm going to go over what exactly I'm doing for the Discipline Priest one-shots, man. The Convoke of the Spirits, some may say. But how to do the biggest damn, damn, damn you could possibly do is this race and I've been loving it having so much fun with it. I want to show you guys what exactly I'm doing so you guys can do it too and have some fun. Um, so first off, you got to go cool turn. Yeah, nah, you don't have to, but it's actually pretty cool. I actually didn't go it as like a meme. Um, you do get 1% burst baseline and the Haymaker as a Disc Priest not having a stun is actually pretty solid. Um, you'll see some of the, if you guys probably have seen some of my videos or my stream, you, ac you actually can set off like, set up the boons and stuff off of the Haymaker, like a fear, and then get your, you know, your boon, your boon and like schism ready, all the buttons pressed, and then you Haymaker them. So it gives you more time to prep it. Um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, but anyway, so for the the build for gear wise, um, so I'm going, I have four set, of course, you need the four set, that's the big, the, the really, really important to be able to hit the big penance damage because you're, the four set, when you ca cast power with radiance, you get your power, the, you automatically get power of the dark side and it's 45% stronger, which is super imperative, okay? Um, as for the legendary, we're going with the penitent one. This is super important to have as well. That's when you get your penance proc um, and it gives you that white, that white little symbol up there, which makes your next penance you just that's big big boy penance extra three bolts that are super fast super important to this one shot okay as for the rest of the gear mostly i'm crit verse i do have some haste pieces still i, I kind of like this little balance of it though because hey it, it, it does feel like you need a little bit of haste just to make sure you get off like your schisms and your penances and your mcs and stuff like that so i don't want to completely negate it um in the future i may you know there's like legendaries but i would, ha I would have to remake the legendaries i don't really have the gold for that uh, but for the most part, I'm like, so I have uh, the so uh, all my sockets and, and enchants are all verse, by the way. But then I have the four set. I have crit verse with a socket here. I have, I would make this crit if I could. Um, I have the right, the, you know, the, ch the tier chest. I have crit verse bracers with the socket. I have the crit verse one hand offhand. I have the badge, which has crit. For rings, I have crit verse, or verse crit and verse haste, both with sockets and enchants for verse. Um, Haste versus Unity, again, I could may probably make this crit if I really wanted to just do more damage. Uh, I'll, I'll probably will at some point. Um, the leggings for with Verse Haste, uh, Verse Haste uh, Belt, this is I'm, this is eventually going to be uh, crit once I get the socket on this. And then lastly, Haste right here. So I'm going to try to go as much crit as I can, to be honest. I'm still not com kind of complete on this build, but this is working just fine. I mean, I have all the item level, it's just the difference, and a little bit more crit versus Haste. Um, and you know, if I'm trying to do this biggest damage ever, it, the crit's more important than the haste because you know you PI, typically I'm PIing on these goes anyway, so I have so much haste to begin with. Um, and then as for the talents, this is another important part here. Um, I'm, you need to have schism for this, um, as well as since the many also you know helps out with your damage, if you, especially if you're not like don't have too many targets in tone. One thing I did notice with this, by the way, is if you are still atoned yourself, it still doesn't matter. Like you still get the twelve percent. It's when you do like a second target and then it goes down. Um, so you can you can still have atonement on one target. I know it's like for so I, I thought it was each affected ally. So yeah, I just always read it wrong, but. There you go on that. And then as to the PP talents, I would love to be able to scrap ultimate radiance and go dark arc because I've kind of trolled around with that in like uh, solo shuffle and I'm doing some ridiculous damage, like completely 100 OP people within three seconds. It's freaking crazy, uh, but you need it and the healing is so much and you just, it's a uh, disc is unplayable at like a legitimate MMR without it. Um, so ultimate radiance, I'm playing inner light and shadow. So I was always in the toss up between dark arc and this. Uh, because Dark Arc's 5% more and it kind of like on those boon goes, but I've noticed it was really hard to heal without the extra atonement healing from Inner Shadow, so I decided to just stick with the Inner Shadow. Um, I, I virtually never use Inner Light. Um, maybe if like a long game, like like the 1v2 in like my last video, that might have been more, maybe I should have swapped over. <laughs> I should have, but I didn't, but I, that's it's the, besides the point. And then last and not least, Blaze of Light, super important. This was actually recently buffed uh, by 15%. So this is huge damage on your penance. And it also affects Boon, okay? It's not to the same extent. I tried testing it. It was weird. Um, maybe it's like, it, it was like just slightly higher. It wasn't, it clear, definitely wasn't 30% because technically the Ascended Blast from Boon is Smite. So I was like, this increased my damage. Um, it was increasing it, not by much at all. Like I could show you here. Um, so if I have the talent, I'm gonna hit this guy here. So 11K, 
11.3, yeah, just 11 Ks around. And I'll wait around with for um, for that one to come back while I keep talking here. So there was around 11. Um, and then, yeah, obviously you need a blaze of light there as well. As for the conduit, and obviously you need to play Kyrian for Boon, and then the conduit tree or the soulbound tree in Mykonos is super important because of this Anima Accelerator. This thing is insane, man. It is insane. And even uh, there were times where when I was playing Dark Arc and stuff instead of blaze of light before the nerf, uh, for the buff rather this it was buffing this and this this is not scaled like well at all because because of the legendary that reduces the cooldown of boon on top of this we're also reducing the cooldown of boon this is catered to a three minute cooldown right boon is naturally three minutes and that's what the damage was scaled to because if you go through any other covenant the bigger the longer the cooldown the ability the stronger the anima accelerator is like for spear it's not like super long of a cooldown doesn't do that much damage this thing when you like combine it with like all of your modifiers and even if you dark arc it this thing can straight up hit 40k like it's affected by schism and dark arc like this thing i've had this thing literally hit 40k uh, if it was single target on one target um and you, also, you, you can kind of go back and picture and look at some of those games like and on average with all my damage going damage minor fires it's typically around 30k 30 30 32 which is so crazy for just a dot on top of like all the blasts and the penances and everything else you're doing so super important to have that as for the conduits um i have the boon conduit which actually i just got this upgraded today so <laughs> the funny thing is these boons and whatnot are not even maxed out i had a 213 boon conduit so this is a 10 percent buff from my previous videos um, so this is gonna be really fun to see and i need to i need to still keep pushing i'm trying to push for 24 2400 on this guy's disc we're getting there we're getting there it was, it's tough i'm not gonna lie his disc uh but this was a this is a 10 percent buff from the 213 so i'm really excited to see how big i can get on these clear mind for the reduced mana costs on the uh purges and whatnot just uh lights inspiration for the extra healing on desperate prayer um swift maintenance this is makes that big first pen it's really large i still only have a 226 one of this so i'm really excited to hopefully get that other one i was just doing some mythic pluses because they're guaranteed on 220 on that note if you guys don't have upgraded conduits and you're, you're a pve year do like a mythic plus they're guaranteed or 265 if you do like a plus 15 um it's worth it worth the investment if it's a really good conduit like something like convoke or something like that um and then shining radiance super important 84 percent increased healing on ultimate radiance that's that's a lot and then again this is another one i just got today so that's a 15 percent bonus to radiance down healing which i didn't have um and then lastly kind of uh, condensed atmosphere just because i want this one this is increased three percent damage um this side is just kind of like an absorb shield um and then i went for that the atmosphere as well all right and then uh, just to show you guys so that was doing around 11k if i take that off that blaze of light uh, it's now hitting 10.8 so it's like it's definitely not 30 percent oh wait that one hit the same what, what the hell is the scaling what i don't have any procs oh like social guides okay so maybe i'm wrong maybe it doesn't work but whatever i i don't take it for it's for the boon i i take it for the penance damage anyway so um regardless um the pen you, this penance damage is absolutely crazy man it's it's nuts um so all right so that was the the gear and the breakdown and everything so let me just show you guys the one shot okay so what i've been doing in these videos is um that's kind of sucks i don't have my thing here but i'll just use this penance you need one of the penance procs i'm gonna get my way for my boon to come back up so how the order of the abilities is going to be going is making sure that you have their proc first so you have your pendant one which is that white little thing up top i'm gonna give a second before i uh, use these get that proc first okay you don't need to have dots on them i try to get dots on them just to get this, this i mean it's an extra two or three three percent damage at max it's not the biggest deal um but get any cc you need to do so whether it's fear prepping with a fierce so that you can't get stopped on this big go and then i'm gonna press pi badge um and then boon and then schism because I, the reason i press boon before schism i know you lose a little bit of time on your boon but the point is if you do it out of a fear or like in a haymaker or mostly out of a fear it's not going to break the fear yet um so then when you do pop it it's going to be cranking everything at the same time and being able to hit schism and ascended blast at the same exact time does a lot of damage just from that because a schism can crit 10k sometimes all right so what we're going to do is and then after that sorry so it's going to be pi badge uh, boon schism if you run dark arc you would hit dark arc there as well and then you're going to immediately into ascended blast big penance another ascended blast and then i honestly i get i get i try to get like get pretty kind of cocky with it like except i almost expect that they're going to they're going to be in death range and then i death them at the same exact time um one of the games in the previous videos when i hit a druid like that it was just wild like just popped them immediately um so here it goes in real time here we need to get a proc please get a proc oh my god of course i'll get a proc 
All right, so I don't get a proc, I get a hold off here. So I'm just doing my damage. I won't do it without it because that penance is ridiculous. And especially if you just pair with that boon. So in the meantime, I just do my DPS rotation. Let's hopefully we get it on the next one. Okay, we're gonna Radiance. Cool, okay, we got it. So it's this white thing up here. That's with a penitent one Lego. Okay, so if it's the beginning of the game, I'll even Shadow Queen did as well. Okay, so I got my damage going here. I'm going to PI, Badge, uh, Boon, Schism, Ascended Blast into Big Penance, into another Ascended Blast, and I'll typically throw a Death in there as well. Um, and then you can keep going with more damage if it doesn't kill. Typically, like most targets, if they don't use a, if they don't, if most people don't expect it to be honest, but if nobody uses a damage mitigation on that, they will most likely be in death range, um, especially if you get any crits, because I, you know, that didn't get any crit. I got zero crits there. Um, and then don't sleep on the eruption, by the way. I've had 26k eruptions, like they're pretty crazy. The dot itself did 40k, like I said. Um, you have Ascended Blast hitting 16k. I've had up to 27 so far was the highest I hit in the game. Uh, penances no, um, on the first hit can crit up to 15k sometimes. It is a lot of damage, let me tell you. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, that is the rotation on that. So now you guys know what I'm doing in those videos. If you guys have any questions about what I'm doing in this build or anything I did in the video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching. Peace out.